In this video, we're going to learn how to add points to existing plots in R. Now we're going to show how to do this both in base R and in ggplot2. So we'll start by showing how to do it in base R. We'll start by creating a plot. So to do that, we're just going to call plot on the empty cars data set. We're just going to plot the MPG column by the horsepower column. And now to add a point to a base R plot, all you have to do is after your initial plot call here, you add another function call called points, and that allows you to specify the coordinates of a point to add to that plot. So here we're going to add a point by saying points, x is going to be the x coordinate, y argument is the y coordinate, and then you can add some extra arguments for other things if you want to. We're going to add a shape, color, and size to our point. So this whole call will add one point at the spot x15, y100. And we're just going to add a second point here as well, just to show that we can put something in a different spot and have some different attributes for it. So I'll run that here. And we can see that indeed we created a scatter plot with, with two points at these coordinates that we specified. Now we can do essentially the exact same thing using ggplot2 as well. It just requires a bit of different syntax. We're going to call ggplot. The data is going to be empty cars again. Again, we're going to plot the mpg on the x-axis, hp on the y-axis, plus geom point. Now, this geom point call here is not adding a point to an arbitrary position on the plot like we're showing how to do in this video. This geom point call is using the aesthetics passed in here to map actual data onto the plot. So this is what's creating the scatter plot itself. But you can use geom point to plot a point at an arb arbitrary position on the plot as well. And that's what we'll use to plot one of our points. So we'll show how to do that. So we'll say plus, we're going to add another geom point. But in this case, we're not going to use these data-based aesthetics. We're going to pass in specific values into the aesthetics at the X and Y positions that we want them at. So we're going to say geom point in the aesthetic call, X is going to be at point 15, Y will be 100. So we're gonna put a point at the exact same place as we did above. And then again, we're going to color it, give it a shape and a size similar to above. And now we're going to add a second point at the same spot we did in the first plot, but we're going to show how to do this a different way. You can also use annotate to do, to do the same thing. So if we wanted to do that for our second point, we'll say plus, add another point, annotate. Then the first argument to annotate is the type of annotation you want. In this case, we just want a point. So we'll say point here. After that, we can pass in our X and Y coordinates. And again, we can pass in some additional arguments here to give it a shape and some coloring and whatnot. And when we scroll down, we see that we have generated the same plot. It's just using the ggplot syntax and the themes that are default for ggplot. So that is how you can add points to a plot in both base R and ggplot2. If you found this video useful, you can drop a like and hit subscribe. And thanks for watching.